Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and look at this super cute, really simple card that I have to create with you today. I love it because it's simple and the card layout is great. I've got some strips of printed paper and coordinating colors that I've just um, adhered to the bottom and then I've added a sentiment and a shape. So you can use this card layout for all kinds of things, whatever strikes your fancy. All right, let me show you how I put it together though because it's really easy. I'm using the stamp set Flourishing Phrases, which is one of my absolute favorites. This is a fantastic set that has great sentiments in it, and I have I call them innies and outies. So they have words that go um, under like with sympathy and then praying that your heart will be lifted by the many loving thoughts that surround you today. So that goes on the outside, this goes on the inside, and it's just a nice stamp set. It also has an amazing set of framelits that create all kinds of additional cool stuff that coordinates. So I, that's one of the reasons I really like it is with the framelits. Okay. Oh, and I have a online class that goes with this. It's amazing. Really fun projects. I'll put the link for that class in the description of this video for you. Okay. So to create this card, it is really easy. And like I said, you could create the same card in a whole multitude of color combinations just based on the color of printed paper and and uh, cardstock that you use to go with it. So let me see, I think this scrap will be big enough. I'm going to stamp my image in Daffodil Delight. I am making this card for the Stamping Out Autism blog pop that I'm participating in. And actually, if you go to my blog, you'll see some information about how you can help. We are raising money for autism research, and I think um, you'll agree that it's a great, um, a great charity to support or cause. So I've got my uh, flower stamped and I am going to have to fussy cut this one. Now I find fussy cutting can be quite relaxing and goes a little bit quicker than you might think. Sometimes I like to stamp a bunch of images and then just sit in the front of the TV and cut them out. I also like to color in front of the TV. So it's just one of those things when we used to have our um, stamps that you had to mount yourself onto the wood blocks and you had to cut out the rubber because they weren't die cut. I loved doing that in front of the TV. Isn't that funny? But now I love that I don't have to do it at all. <laughs> okay. So I just go around the image and I always leave a little bit of white space around that image. I think it will um, kind of hide any imperfections in your cutting skills and notice I'm also holding my scissors pretty much in exactly the same spot and I'm moving the cardstock around not my scissors and I find those two tips really give me great results when I cut and I have a friend who likes to cut stuff like this out with an exacto knife that sounds awful to me to be completely honest I don't know how she does it but it's such a beautiful flower image so I don't mind so much. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna set that aside and then let's put the rest of our card together. So first of all, I've got my pieces pre-cut here. I've got a half a sheet of um, Marina Mist. Oh my goodness, I almost thought, lost that uh, term. This is one of the colors that is going to be retired. So if you like this color and want to continue to use it, make sure you get your ink refill and your cardstock packages ordered quickly because they will be going away soon and they are well supplies last. I've also got a one and a half inch strip of Marina Mist that I'm going to punch with my uh, triple banner punch. I've got a one inch strip of my printed paper. This is from the Sweet Soiree printed paper pack. And then I also have a half of an inch. Now this one I'm gonna turn over and make sure that I'm centering it on here because there aren't really guidelines on the punch for this one. All right, so I've got my punching done. That triple banner is certainly the workhorse of my punch collection. I use it pretty much every single day. All right, now I've got my four by five and a quarter inch Daffodil Delight and my three and seven eighths by 
5 and an eighth whisper white. Now all these dimensions can be found on my blog post, so click on the link in the description of this video so that you can refer back to those measurements. I like to put my cardstock down on my card and kind of position things and then trim off any excess pieces at the end. You can see this is going to hang over just a little bit. Um, that makes it easy to get my layers just the way I want them. And to be honest, I bet this is going to look a little different than my sample and that's okay. So I'll put my layers on kind of like that. Um, I like the way that looks. But I just like having the opportunity to check first um, before I commit to my placement, you know, just to make sure it's the way I want it to be. I think that's about where I had it. And then I'll do this one. Um, I may or may not have actually, um, gosh, how did I do that? <laughs> I was going to say I may or may not have changed this a couple times when I was making my original <laughs> sample card here. It's just sometimes a girl needs to change your mind, right? Okay, so there's my third piece. I think that looks all right. And then to cut or to finish this off, I'll just flip it over, find my scissors, and then trim that excess uh, off. Okay, there we go. Next, I am going to stamp just a note. This is right out of the stamp set. This time I will use Marina Mist ink. And oops, actually, I want to position this here to make sure I'm leaving myself enough room. That looks pretty good. All right. Now I'm going to pop this up on my card, of course. I mean, if you guys know, I like to pop things up big time. So I'll put a couple of dimensionals on here, and then I'm actually going to place it on my card. And I'm gonna use some of my Dapper Denim Baker's Twine to just tie kind of a, a big loose bow. And then I'll take this bow and kind of tuck it in underneath my card, or underneath my um, flower. And that way the loops kind of hang out and it's just kind of a fun way to put a bow onto your card without having to worry that it's all perfect and bow-like. I sort of twisted this up, so let me try once more. Has that ever happened to you? On this Baker's Twine, it kind of twists on you. So we'll try once more without the twisting. This looks a lot better. Okay, so I've got my big loops. Trim that down. And then I'm going to just put a glue dot kind of at the knot and then tuck it underneath my flower. And that's how you get one of these big loopy things underneath your underneath your project. Then we'll just tuck it in and it'll sort of stick out. I'm noticing that my loops are pretty big though, so maybe I'll tighten them, although that's really tricky to do once you've put a glue dot under there because the glue dot kind of puts the kibosh on everything from moving. But there you go. You can see the little loops stick out. We'll trim that a little bit more. All right, I'll adhere this to my Daffodil Delight panel, and then we'll pop the whole thing up onto my Marina Mist card base. And again, um, I love adding dimension to my projects with dimensionals. I think they really kind of finish off and make your card look, you know, extra professional and fancy. Because how many cards up in Hallmark actually pop up off the off of the card. Not that many. I've done the research. Okay. Last but not least, I'm going to take one of my favorite embellishments, which is the clear faceted gems. I keep all of my embellishments in these clear um, stamp cases, and then I've used my label maker to mark which what's in them. And then they fit on my shelf with um, everything else. So there we go, I have placed that right on there. And isn't that a great card? So I hope you were inspired by this project to make some of your own. Try to use up some of that printed paper and add just a fun image in the center. If you uh, need any supplies to complete this project or others, please consider shopping my online store. I would so appreciate your business and would love to be your demonstrator. I have a fantastic VIP rewards program for my customers that I would love to invite you to be a part of. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will see you again soon. Happy stamping, guys. Bye-bye.